Hey friends, this is Chris. Gigi. Welcome back to the channel. So we're talking about Tesla, Elon Musk, and work culture today. Um, I've been seeing a lot of really interesting comments <laughs> and uh, things on social media, and I want to read a sampling for you. Uh, you guys will kind of get what we're saying here. So this is actually um, for Meet Kevin, our buddy over there. He tweeted out uh, over on Twitter, I'll read it. It says, I gave Elon Musk um, stuff, <laughs> he swears, but stuff for buying Twitter. Today, I couldn't be more grateful to be here. We don't even need or use the yellow check mark, but we pay 1,000 per month because it's a cheap thank you to the man whose values I should have never questioned. Thank you, Elon. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think? Do you think, do you think um, Elon Musk, um, the billionaire, richest guy in the world, or maybe third richest, yeah, he, he needs that thousand dollars a month for Meet Kevin? Yeah, he doesn't pay his employees, and he keeps his buyers employees, but people just give him like, money. Yeah, and, and this, this is part of the strange thing that, you know, I'm, I'm just having like human conversations with you, like, what's with the worship of someone who like doesn't pay their employees? It's so bizarre. I, I, yeah, buyer your people. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Here's another one, here's another one. So it's fun to talk about this. This is from Holmar's catalog. Um, his now also name is also Omar. He's the um, one of the Tesla stock promoters. He says here, a, re uh, a repeal, to take back, a repeal of the EV tax credit, if it does come to pass, could benefit Tesla, as they are the only ones who can make EVs profitably. So the, the, the thing is, is like, you're right. <laughs> How? <laughs> so basically, the conversation is, you know, if Trump wins, uh, it, the tax credits will go away from the government, right? And actually, you know, tax credits is pretty sizable. It's like $7,500. So how is that good for Tesla to take away your tax credit? Yeah, how? Is there a how? There is no how. That's why it's funny. That's why it's funny to make fun of these people. <laughs> Here's a, someone from another, I uh, just had a comment just today. It says here, working for the boss can mean different things. When it comes to visionary leaders like Elon Musk at Tesla and SpaceX, the focus is on the grand vision of accelerating the words, uh, world's transition to sustainable technology. And then the good person goes on to say, and money doesn't really matter that much for a job. <laughs> for jobs, money doesn't matter. You working because you want to make money. Yeah, and and, and now, now I, don't, I don't mean to make fun of someone if like if you're working on a project that you believe in, right? But this comes up because I, I made a video recently talking about how if you work a job and you you know uh, work for a boss who says you have to work every day, you have to work holidays. Uh, no bonuses. Oh, sorry, we don't have any money. You know, if you leave, we call severance package. It's the yeah. money you get when you leave. Sorry, no severance package for you. Um, I think that's pretty crafty myself. <laughs> that, that's, isn't it illegal? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, they sued him, but he won because he's got good lawyers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, it, it, it is, it's, it's funny because um, we've been talking about the Vance issue. Which, yeah, they're, they're talking that? all of our relationships. You feel like you're a CEO, you don't need money. Right. Like, oh my Elon, you just pray, oh for, my you just pray for him, you know, just thank you, I can work for him. And, and <laughs> the reason why I bring this stuff up, guys, because like, I, I, I always try to explain it to Yeji, like, what's wrong with this cult people is so bizarre. I, oh yes, I have to give all my money to Elon, and then he gives it to Donald Trump, and then, and then okay, we gotta bring the Trump stuff. So the other thing I've noticed recently is after Elon declared mm -hmm. that he's gonna be supporting Donald Trump, suddenly, magically, all the Tesla supporters who are on social media suddenly like Donald Trump also. So let me read another one, guys. This is from Farzad, just today. Farzad says, I used to loathe Trump. I used to think he was racist, a terrible human being, an evil incarnate. I voted for Hillary in 2016 because of this. I thought Republicans hated immigrants like me, because if you, you don't know, Farzad's from Iran. Um, and Trump was their leader. Now, things are different. Why? Because Elon likes Trump. So, <laughs> so, so all the followers have to like Trump too. <laughs> so they fine to kick out the immigrants. <laughs> well, and he's an immigrant. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's and why. His wife is immigrant. Yeah. Uh, Far, Farzad. No, no, no. Trump's wife. He's, yes. Yeah, so, 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 so there were there were rumors. We, I, who knows for sure? Yeah. But there were rumors that she came to the USA illegally. But. Yeah. 
Who knows for sure? We don't, we don't know that, but the, the fact is what she it, is. It. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the other thing is too with the Trump, and this is. Oh, yeah. So then you that? can only, you know, you can only welcome this pretty handsome people. Now she's she's models. Well, it, it was it's, it's. I mean, that's how some people think. They think, hey, if if you if you look a certain way and you're white, come on in. If you don't, yeah. you're brown. Forget it. Uh, because Musk and his brother had that conversation mm -hmm. too that they were illegal. And, and Musk was like, oh no, that's a gray area. And the brother's like, no, we are illegal immigrants. I've showed the, I've showed the clip several times on the channel. Uh, but it, 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 this, this is the kind of stuff that we say mental gymnastics. Like you have to twist your mind around to, to go a long way. Um, guys, I bring this stuff up because it, it, there's a weird disconnect with the Tesla coal. If, if you want, look at social media, not Tesla coal, the, the, the words you've been using lately is like quiet quitting. Mm. So that means like you still work, but you're not yeah. really like, giving it all because you don't believe mm -hmm. that you have to give your life to your job. And, and the one before when the, when the person was you know, making the comment that if you're working for a visionary, you know, money doesn't matter. Like that, I was saying, guys, like, there's more to life than work. There's, there's more to life than like, you know, money all the time. Sometimes it's good to like, take a holiday, spend time with your family, <laughs> spend time with your kids, you know? Um, it, it, it's strange, like, I don't know if these cold, like, have girlfriends because they're mostly guys there's there's a few there's a few females so like some of the famous ones be like kathy wood right so yeah. she's part of the cold or she's uh, it's different okay i think she's right hand yeah well it's <laughs> different for kathy wood because because like if you're kind of like if you're scamming the people you're not really in the cold you're the head of you know what i'm talking about that's right she's right hand of the oh the hand the hand yeah yeah right yeah hand the hand like game <laughs> of thrones right because you're not really part of the cold if you're the leader you're the, you're getting people to join the said coal um, but, uh, you know, all these conversation guys, when, like when you're talking about your work, your money, your lives, don't get sucked into this kind of thinking. Like, it, like if, if you have to struggle to make something make sense, then it's probably wrong. <laughs> you have to explain, you know, appreciate other people, but they don't over with you. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you find yourself angry that someone disagrees yeah. with you, you know, you're, you're, you're probably struggling so hard to keep that, keep that going. Now, the other thing that, that Yeji and I were talking about, actually, is um, work culture. Now, it's very interesting. I'm talking about work culture. Um, Samsung employees right now are actually on strike. For the first time. Yeah, and, and it's unusual because you're talking about a company like a Samsung. What are the conditions like compared to other companies? Really good, really good. So, yeah, some of my friends working there, so, mm -hmm. you know, they, if they have 40, 40 hours mm -hmm. a week, so they can manage their working time. So you go oh, there early. When you want to work, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. you pick and, your hours. Yeah, and they give you three meals whenever you go. You, yeah, yeah, cafeteria. Cafeteria is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And their you know, salary is pretty good. Yeah. yeah the, everything's good. I, it's just around me. I'm not sure all the Samsung workers yeah, yeah, are around me. You know, I can't say if like the janitor yeah, Samsung yeah, yeah, gets yeah, making yeah. my money, but but this is something I mentioned before, guys, on the channel. It's, it's a different system here to where like the best company, like the famous company like Samsung, offers the best benefits, the best salary, et cetera. It's not quite the same in USA. And, and I give you an example. Um, Steve Jobs, um, I don't know, I, I'm not, I can't speak to his later years, but definitely in his younger years, a lot of people hated the guy. He was, he was he was a total jerk. Like he. Yeah, but we did have those kind of culture. The CEOs kind of jerk. Sure. Uh, yeah, jerk and just you know they throw things. <laughs> back no, there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that Koreans don't. They still have yeah, that yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, you still have that and, culture. You know, the, no one likes you. <laughs> but but it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. Like like if if if, if you are, are of any worth and someone's treating you in this way, it's it's not sustainable. Now, what's, what's funky though, and this is sort of why I wanted to have this conversation with you guys, what's, what's funky about the U.S. culture right now is it's kind of gotten way much to that. Um, so for example, Amazon's known for not treating their workers very well. Um, Apple's known for that, right? I, I'm not sure if Facebook or Google are. I think Google's known for treating their workers very well. I, I can't speak to Facebook. Yeah. I don't know if you heard anything about that. I, yeah, I can't speak, you guys can let me know. Um, Tesla's not known to treat their workers well. Same with SpaceX, the Musk companies. Um, you guys know we fired a bunch of people on Twitter, et cetera, and so that's why it's weird, like, and, and something I've been telling Yeezy about it, I think a lot of people who are in the cult or a lot of the, you know, followers on, you know, your YouTubes and Twitters or whatever, I don't think these people have jobs, uh, or I think these people aren't real, either robots or something, because it doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. 
uh, or to be fair to them, maybe they are evil, but they just worship that being the oligarch, oligarch or the, the being the billionaire boss and telling people what to do. And, and I wanted to bring up the Vans thing, because I, I mentioned in the prior video, but I want to bring it up again, because I know people don't understand my videos, so I got to make it really clear. <laughs> so, so the Vans guy, that's the guy who's picked by, for Trump's VP. He grew up poor like myself, and I really identify with that. And he went in the military and then eventually got his law degree from Yale. He's a smart, smart guy. Yeah. And it was interesting, along the way, early on, he wrote a book and basically was talking about how being in poor culture keeps you poor because you do what poor people do, be it, you know, just any number of things. You have that lifestyle, you're doing too many drugs, drinking too much, you have no social capital, that's where he uses it, means you don't have enough friends or poor friends to give you good advice. And one, I'll give you an example, one thing that he mentioned like, when he joined the military is he went to go buy a car and the car wanted to charge him, the dealership, the company, wanted to charge him like 21% interest, okay? Which is really high. And so he took the contract and the offer and he went to his officer in, in, in the Marine Corps and his officer's like, are you stupid? Why would you take 21%? Take yourself to the, um, to the Navy Federal Credit Union, right? So the, yeah, yeah, the, mili the military has a bank. Yeah. Go get a loan from there, and it'll be like, you know, whatever, five or 6%, and then go back to this and buy it, right? Don't get ripped off. That's an example of social capital. You have people around you that give you good advice, right? Yep. And so I'm bringing up the Vance art, uh, uh, example, because unfortunately for Mr. Vance, though, as he moved up, and, and the, the military was a good example, but then he got in with all the venture capitalists, and now he's basically a puppet of, of Musk. Um, I, I've, I've mentioned it before on another channel, but I'm just making it really clear if you don't understand what I'm talking about here. And you all have a, a choice in your life, you know, what, what, what you want to do and how you want to treat people. Um, before, Vance said that he was concerned about workers. He, he even said, like, he had a dinner one time with a rich person, and the rich person's like, oh, I hate my, hate my workers. They're, they're so lazy, and they're always asking me for more money. Why don't they work harder, right? And he told himself at the time that he would never want to turn into that, that kind of person. And it's kind of crazy that he ended up doing it, right? So I, I understand, guys, when, when you know you talk to the age and I, and maybe we sound weird to you that we don't want to be Elon Musk. But not everybody wants to like avoid paying people, right? Not everyone was out to cheat people just to make more money. Um, you know, I mentioned meet Kevin all the time on this channel. Sometimes I don't mention names. Sometimes I do. You know, not everyone is like, hey guys, you know, I'm gonna go buy a, a private jet to show off and say it's a good for business, but like. That crap doesn't make sense. Jets are expensive, like really expensive. It puts a lot of pressure on you and you don't need the thing. And that's like the very definition of not a good business person. <laughs> so I, I, I what? And if you're licking money. Looking? Leaking, you know. L licking? Yeah, leaking, leaking. Oh leaking, leaking, leaking money. Yeah, the the you have a huge hole in your account. You're just like, money is just going yeah, away. Yeah. But but that's that's the kind of stuff that you learn by, by watching social media. You learn how to leak money, right? Because because you're, you're showing off. Um, it's not sustainable. Um, you learn how to worship people who don't pay their employees, right? Because they're, it's a vision. And, and their, their vision is to get rich off of you. <laughs> but but the, the hardest thing to do, though, is to f convince someone that has been fooled that they have been fooled. Yeah. It is easier to fool them. That's the saying. It's easier to fool someone than to convince someone that they've been fooled. So uh, I try my best to help you. I, I don't know I don't know if the age and I can convince you, and I, some people are, are too far gone, but there's, there are some people out there that, that will listen and understand the absurdity that's going on right now, and that's sort of why I read the quotes on social media. Um, so be careful out there, guys. And uh, my, my best advice is um, Elon Musk doesn't need your help. You don't need to give him $1,000 a month. Don't listen to me, Kevin. Uh, you know. <laughs> you don't have to listen to him. It's, it's your choice. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. So, bye.